Hello and welcome to this session about dashboard and workspace personalization in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. This video will not discuss all the personalization options but will explain some of the more useful ones and remember these personalizations will only apply to your user. Let's start with personalization of the dashboard. We need to display the personalization menu. To do this Right click on any workspace tile and select Personalize and then select Personalize this form. The personalization floating menu is displayed. There are four tools on this menu that we will look at today. Select allows you to select objects and alter their properties. Move allows you to move objects around the screen. Hide allows you to hide objects and Clear resets the dashboard to its original settings. Let's start with Select, as it's already highlighted on the menu. Clicking on any object on the screen will now display its personalization panel. The most common action here is to change the name of the workspace. Let's say instead of Customer Payments you want to call it Payment Processing. You can type the new name into the personalization panel. Now let's look at Move. With the Move option selected on the Personalization menu, you can drag and drop items around the screen. Perhaps you use the Payment Processing workspace more often than any other workspace. You might want that to be first in the list. You can drag and drop the workspace tile to the top of the list. Look out for the orange horizontal bar. That will show you where the drag tile was moved to. Hide is not often used as workspace tiles are normally hidden by user permissions. However, if you select the hide icon, clicking any object will turn it orange. That means the object is hidden. When you close the personalization menu, the hidden objects will disappear. To make them reappear, click them again in hide mode and the orange highlight will be removed. You can hide any object, not just workspace tiles so you might want to hide the calendar or even the screen header graphics to provide more room for workflow tasks and workspace tiles. Finally, and most importantly, you can click Manage Clear, which will reset the screen back to its default settings. You will need to refresh your internet browser once you've done this. While we're in the Manage menu, you'll notice that there are Import and Export options. You can export a personalization and another user can import it so that their screen is laid out the same as yours. We won't look at that on this video, but it is a useful tool. Now let's look at workspaces. They can be personalized in exactly the same way as dashboards, but getting to the menu is a little easier. If you click Options and Personalize this form, the Personalization floating menu is displayed. Now you can rename move and hide items in exactly the same way as we did on the dashboard. When editing tiles there is one additional feature which is very clever. On the personalization panel for a tile there is an option pin to dashboard. If you select this the tile data is displayed on the dashboard under the workspace tile. This is a hyperlink directly to the appropriate filtered list from the dashboard. Thank you for watching this short introduction to dashboard and workspace personalization. For more information about the training services Optimum can provide, please visit our website.